Hey guys, today we are in Delft in the Netherlands and we're gonna check out a new machine that we're working on for the Precious Plastic lineup. And it's not quite finished yet, but uh, we think we have some pretty interesting things going on, so we wanted to give you a little sneak preview. Let's go check it out. Okay guys, what are we working on and who are you? Hello, I'm Carolina. I'm a designer at Precious Plastic and today we're working on the new design for the upper press injection machine. My name is Joost. Uh, I actually designed the machine. Uh, I'm a graduate student at Industrial Design Engineering in Delft um, and I worked on the project as my final graduation project. Thanks. So why or do we want to design a new injection machine? So the, currently, the current design of the injection machine, the lever version, um, it does the job, it works, um, and it's actually one of uh, the machines that has been replicated quite a lot in the community. But the main issue that it has is that it's not very user-friendly and not very ergonomic to use. So we wanted to make sure we could make a new version and an upgraded version of this machine so that people can feel more comfortable using this machine and maybe have more efficient production. Excellent. Niels, can you tell us a little bit about your design process? Yeah, definitely. Um, so I didn't design this machine alone. Uh, I was actually helped by the, the very nice people of the Discord server of Fresh Plastic. Um, so this is a thank you to you guys. Um, we uh, first started with looking at all the alternative designs that are there because uh, I'm not the first one designing an Arbor Press uh, as an injection machine. Um, there's quite a lot of people that have experiences with it, uh, which is really nice. And we started with making a list of the, the cool stuff that they've uh, come up with. And then later we were able to uh, share the design files so people could look at it, um, which gave us very valuable insights. Yeah, basically everything that the Arbor Press was something that people, the community was already starting to do. So we, basically we wanted to learn from them and not start from scratch because it didn't really make sense. And um, so we learned from them, we got their feedback, and then from that we we applied it and make this first prototype to then be able to share it open source so more people has access to these designs. Let's go check out this machine. <laughs> All right, there she is. Uh, this is the first prototype we made. Uh, so the final design is probably gonna look a little bit different, but this is the first idea that you can get. So to break it kind of down, um, this is the arbor part where it has like uh, this wheel where you can apply force. And there's gears that uh, transmit the force to the uh, injection part. Then here we have uh, the barrel, and it's actually pretty similar to the uh, current injection machine. Um, but the main difference here is that it has a, a nozzle that can auto-engage with the mold, so you don't have to screw it on there anymore. And lastly, here below, we have the mold table, uh, and the mold table ensures that you can uh, place molds of different sizes under there, uh, while still maintaining a, a really good safe connection to the barrel. So there were a few design elements that we wanted to make sure Jos could keep in mind while designing this new version of the machine, uh, so that we can make sure the machine can be easily replicated around the world. So we try to use as much as possible the same kind of beam all over the machine. As you can see, you have this 30 by 30 everywhere, which you can also see it in uh, other machines like the shredder. Um, so basically people can, but we still make it flexible enough so that people could easily modify it if they want to. If they want to make this one round, for example, to have, so it's, like it's more comfortable, they can easily do it without problem. And we also use quite a bit of laser cut. So as soon as we use a certain technique, we try as much as possible to make most of it all over the machine. In this case, the laser cut technique, we try to use it everywhere for the covers. In this case, it's gonna be for the hopper. Here will be where the barrel protection will be and where we cover all the gear, the gears here. And we try to use the same thickness as much as possible as well to reduce the cost of the machine, as well as the use of the bolts as much as possible, the same time of bolt everywhere in the machine if it's possible, of course, and it doesn't affect the functionality. Um, and overall, that's it, Basic, always making sure and keeping in mind that the design can also be flexible and can adapt to everyone's need. Right, so to check out whether the machine is working like we want to, we uh, asked Fritz from uh, Easy Molds in Germany to make us a test mold. This is what it is. Uh, it doesn't look really like a functional product, and that's intended because uh, this mold is actually really, really hard to, uh, to fill for a machine. You can kind of see, like, the further the plastic will come into the mold, uh, the better it works, and the better the, uh, the force is uh, transmitted to the plastic. So we've been testing it quite a lot. Um, this is, I think, the furthest we've come up to now. 
Uh, and in a few weeks' time, we're going to test uh, the current injection machine to see how, uh, how the machines stack up. Yeah, so that we can compare the results to see uh, with the same parameters, the same, melt same kind of plastic, the same melting temperatures to see how far it goes. Um, and the main variable would be like the kind of uh, leverage we're using, the hardware compared to the liver injection machine. So we're basically trying to see where are the limits of the machine. So what are the next uh, steps for this design process and finishing things up? I think the first thing that we're going to do is, um, well, last days we made a big list of things that uh, would be improved on the machine because this is the first prototype, so a lot of stuff that doesn't work uh, as intended. Um, so first we're going to make uh, some design improvements on it and test these out. And then I'm gonna, we're going to do the documentation and uh, share it back to you guys. All right, thanks so much, guys.